I said Hersey Hawkins first. He from the West Side. He from Western House. He get his name said first. That's how we get down. The next up is Kobe Bean Bryant and one Derek Fisher. Hey man, Fisher played with Kobe for a bunch of years and won four or five rings. He gets the nod. I'm sorry. 773-803-9824. I'm ready to fight. If you don't agree, dial them numbers. I'm ready to fight. And when you play playing next to Kobe for that long, you get a slot. You say. And the chump hit a bunch of shots. Y'all got to get it off your daddy fishing, man. And a nigga take your girlfriend behind your back. You got to get some point for that. Booing. That's what that way to kick a player when he's down to make the media personality relevant. Shout out to Sid Trotter. Man, the man ain't, ain't best. He ain't been on the show in a minute, but uh, there you go, Sid. We're going to get it up to Sid. Fat Five member. Original Fat Five member. I think he is the, uh, he the great Jackson is. No, no, no. You the Jimmy King. I, 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 I was the, uh, 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 I was the Jenny Rose. I'm laughing at him. But, uh, to the next one, the number five, the number six slot. It's one Irvin Magic Johnson, and he's dragging Byron Scott along with him. Yeah, I'm still kind of giving it to Kobe, but let's not forget. My man Mo Cheese said, oh, man, this man said, oh, man. Okay, I'm going to address Mo Cheese, and then I'm going I'm uh, to address Rick James, little cousin, a.k.a. Angry Black Man. Uh, so you're basically giving it to Kobe. Yes, but let's not forget that point four seconds on the clock when Fish hit that shot. Let's not y'all always big up in uh, Robert Ory's bum ass, but y'all don't want to give it up to Fisher. Come on, man, Fisher stay hitting big shots, and the chump was playing some decent defense, and he was the glue. Remember, oh four exactly. He hit the shot with point oh four. Yeah, they cheated, but hey, man, he hit the shot. And the dude hit a bunch of shots like Ori did. Remember, the Lakers fell off like bad dope when he was gone. He gained back. They started winning again. Let's not act like this man was just there for the ride. Now, back to uh, back to ABM, man. This dude out here, he running around here being reckless. I, 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 I'm about to Rick James him, man. You know, angry black man state. Now you got a tax on a microphone. Look at that, man. See, 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 he... He don't want to admit that I'm right with this, so now he's going to get to attacking my technology. I told you about your couch, nigga. Let me get back to uh, what was angry black man. President Obama and LeBron apologists will never have a critical uh, analyst of them rose, uh, rose-colored glasses. What the hell? Huh? I'm lost. You got to help me out on that angry black man. I'm lost, man. Because you already got me fighting with you about this dead fishing thing. Stop laughing at me, Mo. Uh, H-Rap, did Amazon look, oh, look at you, look at that, you was attacking my uh, technology again, I told you, man, back to your couch, back to your couch, Fick, Fisher was a big flopper, Big Shot Bob did it for three teams, see, I know what you're doing, angry black man, I know what you're doing, brother, I know what you're doing, it's not gonna work, I'm not gonna feed into your foolishness this, this Saturday, man, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not finna get into, I'm not finna get into no fight with you, about Big Shot Bob. I know what you're doing, angry black man. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Back to my list, man. It's not gonna work, angry black man. It's not gonna work. Uh, Matty Johnson and Kobe Bryant pretty much did the same thing. Barry Scott used to play some solid defense. He, he was a leaper. He was he was a three-point specialist before it was three-point specialist. Uh, Byron Scott was a solid ball player. He was more gooder than uh, Derek Fisher. Yes, I'm from the west side of Chicago. We say more gooder than the west side. Yep. But uh, I'm going with it. Matty Johnson and Scott. Scott was better than Fisher. That's why he hired hide in Kobe. So it's Magic and Co- We can't get Magic and Kobe together. So and they dragged a couple of bums along with him. My man Mo. Yeah, man. I, got, I had to hit him with the fuck your couch, the greatest. I had to, man. It's not gonna work, angry black man. Tyrone Lou gets any credit for having the best stuff up. See, he he was laying on the ground. He gets no he gets no love for that. He gets no love. It's not gonna work, angry black man. I saw. See, I knew it, man. I saw through your foolishness, brother. I saw through your foolishness, man. Back to the next 
to the list. Number five on my list is Detroit Basketball's own Chauncey Billups and Rip Hamilton. Now, they were neither one of these more than likely, maybe big shot to get the Hall of Fame. Now, nah, neither one of these dudes going to be in the Hall of Fame, but they both, Rip used to do a whole lot of running around like Reggie, but Rip is still having the ball a little taste. He was playing some decent defense. He was hitting big shots. You don't get a name like Mr. Big Shot without being a big shot hitter, big shot taker, and a big shot maker. Maybe I'm even going to question my own list. They, they could have potentially been a little higher, but I paid homage to them because they are Detroit basketball. Next up for my number four slot, a lot of you, and here's a lesson for you youngsters. A lot of you young creeps out here don't know about these dudes. I'm going to need y'all to get your goo together. Also, follow your boy. On Instagram at hrabb, I show a classic basketball, I show a classic athlete every week, and also host a classic MC on my page. Also follow me on at hrabb on Twitter and the end of the bench, T H A E N D O F D A B E N C H on Twitter, on YouTube, and on Facebook. How at your boy? But number four on this list is the should be a Hall of Famer. The homie Gus Williams, instant offense, wasn't playing no games, mad game, Gus the Buzz Williams. He got a dope last name that could have potentially got him over the top saying how that's my last name and his last name. He got the nod, but now on the serious side, Gus Williams really should be a Hall of Famer. And I got my man downtown Freddie Brown coming from nowhere in 1979, taking the Seattle Supersonics, a.k.a. Otherwise known as the Oklahoma City Thunder to their only one and only championships. That third backcourt made playing the role of Vinnie Johnson was Dennis Johnson. He ain't on this list. AK Dennis Johnson, aka Spotty Pippen. But uh Fred Fred Brown, downtown Freddie Brown from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Midwest in the building, and Gus Williams. They are the number four team, number four backcourt in NBA history, if you ask your boy. Now, back to uh, not fighting with angry black man, because I see through your plan, brother. You're not going to get me arguing about that bum-ass Robert Ory never again. You tricked me twice. It's not going there. Now, in the MLB news, I'm going to do this little, 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 little farther in the MLB news. Troy Tula Whiskey used to be uh, 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 a big-time shortstop. The um, Toronto Blue Jays told him, you got your coat. You got your hat. Get your coat, homie. That should take the gravel. Lame. They told him to beat it. They gave him $38 million. And the Yankees just gave him half a million dollars to, 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 to fill in with Gigi Ligoria. Uh, Gigi has. I don't know how to say his last name. I need to work on the last name. Your boy is 38% retired for that. But Troy Tula Whiskey is in New York. They, I think they're trying to stack the deck in the event that uh, Manny Machado does or does not sign there. GG ain't gonna be there the midseason. We're gonna see what happens. Angry black man is continuing to try to press me. Jerry West said, fuck H Rap Couch, Derek, Derek Fisher over me and Gail Goodrich. Hey, I ain't seen them play. They got honorable mention. Hey, hey, Jerry, if you don't get your manic depressive ass out of here, Jerry West, I hope you lose and he's gonna be mad all week. That's what I got to say to Jerry West. Now, you know what? That's not cool. I should say, I apologize to Jerry West. I'm sorry. That was, that was really mean. But I'm H-Rap. That's how I get But, uh, hey man, I ain't seen them chumps play, so they was at the bottom of the list. I'm sorry. They don't, they don't get no love on top of this. But that's the end of Major League Baseball. Now we're going to go to the college football, man. College football national championship game will be on air Monday. I got a couple things to talk about. First of all, oh, excuse me, Justin Field goes to the Ohio State University, which means... One, Dwayne Haskin will be a New York football giant. You heard it here on, on the end of the bench, guys. There's no need for Justin Fields to go there and ride the bench. Smart move by the homie Justin Fields, leaving Georgia. Dumb move to even go there, but smart move by leaving Georgia and, and doing his thing. And a lot of people talk about Kirby Smart and that bum that just left Miami had the even records when he left. But guess what? The bum... Kirby Smart played in the national championship game. See, this is why I hate stats, angry black man. People want to run these stats at you, but they don't want to look at the, the you want to look at stats are the view of what's going on from a shallow prism. 
the reality of the situation is this. They was kicking ass, man. How let your boy? They've been, Georgia's been kicking ass and they've been farther than any, any farther uh, than this dude uh, that just Mark Rick. I didn't even want to say his name, but if you didn't know his name, Mark Rick, farther than Mark Rick ever took took them, they would always lose in the championship game or ch choke before. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, before they even got a chance to play the national championship, Freddie Brown wasn't a starter. DJ, no, no, no. DJ was the starter. Uh, DJ was off the bench, bro. Freddie Brown was the starter. Gus, DJ came off the bench. He might have got the bulk of the minutes, but DJ was not the starter. He was the sixth man. Ha! Stick to Robert Orr. That was angry black man for those who don't uh, didn't know. My, uh, I think he's uh, playing the role. Angry black man is playing the role of uh, Big L this week on the end of the bench podcast. Uh, um, now, um, back to the NBA news. This is my last story. Mo Cheese in the building. Welcome to the end of the bench podcast. Holla at your boy. Mo Cheese in the building. Holla at your boy, man. Man, I'm on the end of the bench, man. Yes, sir. Okay, let me in the game, Coach, real quick. Okay. Yeah. You, just said, you just said something I appreciate. I, I've been here with my dogs getting dogged out, and I apologize, I am in the car pulling to the garage, but I've been hearing my own DJ boy dogs, I've been hearing Kirby Smart get his dogs out about Justin Fields leaving. But you said, you hit it right on the point. He was down to go there in the beginning. Right. Like, People forget that Trump was the number one ranked quarterback coming out of high school. Mm -hmm. He took the job from Eason, which Eason was a number one ranked quarterback coming out from high school. So I'm not exactly sure what Justin Fields thought he was going to accomplish by going in, taking that position, um, going there as a quarterback. I mean, maybe he thought, hey, look. If he took the job, if took the job, Eastman, maybe I'll come in and take the job him. But you gotta, you gotta think about the fact that Trump's gonna be given leeway based off the fact that he made it to the national championship. It's just as simple as that. Exactly. So I just, I didn't expect for uh, Justin Fields to see the field that much. I thought he would have saw it more than he, he did see it this year. I thought they would have tried to put in some better packages for him, per se. But, I mean, that just wasn't what Kirby Smart wanted to do. Um, I think it bit us in the ass, the LSU game. I think if we had to switch up something in the LSU game, we having a different conversation about Georgia playing for a national championship. And at the end of the day, they went to bed against Texas. Well, how can you get up for that game after watching Notre Dame and watching two teams that you know you could have beat the brakes off of? How do you get up for that Texas game at that point? Okay, this is this is where I will hold uh, Kirby Smart feet to the fire, though, Mo. Uh, I think it's the '86 Miami Hurricane team. They played in that same Cotton Bowl back when they used to actually play in the Cotton Bowl against that same Texas Longhorn team, and they got slighted to go to the national championship game, and they beat the hell out of Texas to show the nation we should have made it. And see, to me, as a fan, no, no, no. As a fan, that's what I would have wanted to see. But Where that's what you. No, 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 Mo. You have to tell your players. You. This is why you show the world. Don't y'all ever leave us out of a damn thing when it comes to the national trip. Y'all put Notre Dame in instead of us. When you beat the hell out of Texas, and Notre Dame loses like they they did. Next year, when it's a coin toss, you win that coin toss. I, I'll, I'll give Kirby some criticism on this, man. He should have he cut off all media contacts with his players. He should have kept them off Twitter. He should have kept them off all that. Facts. Like, all that anger that he was spewing on the field. Like, he should have kept all that stuff off Twitter. He should have kept all that stuff off Twitter. He should have kept all that stuff off Twitter. He should have kept all that stuff off Twitter. He should have kept all that stuff off Twitter. He should have kept all that stuff off Twitter. He should have kept all that stuff off Twitter. He should have kept all that stuff off Twitter. He should have kept all that stuff off Twitter. He should have kept all that stuff off Twitter. that and I, I, it's no excuses because they still had to come to play. Kirby mm -hmm. played a lot of players. He played, I think, five players mm -hmm. that didn't play all season. He played five players. I, I know three of them, three of the players were injured. They got injured big like spring. Mm -hmm. uh, so they didn't play a snap during the season, but he played them during the season or during the bowl game. 
I don't know what really was the purpose in that. Maybe because they wasn't going to lose a year by playing in that one game and you right. want to get them the field of.